Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, this is another edition of the uh, homemade log splitter, 30 ton. And right now, I'm making my own hydraulic hoses with my homemade hydraulic crimper. Put it up a little bit more. Get it out of there. And this is a half inch hose, and that's a three quarter inch fitting right there. We're going to see if this thing meets specs. I'm looking for point, I'm looking for 0 0.91. And that is exactly, that is crimped perfectly on this homemade deal. I need to crimp this one right here. I have to do a little modification because it, it wants to hit the uh, little thing right there. So I need to cut that out. But anyway, uh, like I said, this is uh, homemade hoses for the uh, homemade log splitter. I got some AW46 hydraulic oil. I live in the south and it's pretty hot around here so I'm using a thicker oil. Your, your climate you know, might be different. You might have to use transmission oil. I don't know. But um, I, I'm having a real difficult time pouring that stuff through the spout. So I took the spout off and we're just going to pour it in like that. Oh, that works so much better and faster trying to get through that little spout thing. Okay guys, I just did a uh, can't even talk preliminary test run here to see if I had any leaks. I've uh, got everything hooked up. This seems to be holding together. Engine working. Of course, I haven't really put it under a stressful load. I just got this temporary covered up like that. No leaks there. Um, I would like to say I was perfect and didn't have any problems, but I did have a leak right there and I had to take all this apart and tighten that up. I uh, didn't have a uh, pipe wrench when I tightened it. I don't know what happened to it. I had to go get one. But um, this was leaking too because I just you know put that on there. I didn't tighten it up. So anyway that was easy. This was a little it wasn't hard to fix it. But uh, what I mainly needed to do was to run this out here and I took my pocket life pocket knife and I um, 
scribed a uh, line right there so I know that the the wedge is going to have to be well I can't put it right here it's going to have to be back a little bit so I don't know how far maybe an inch back I don't know but uh, I need to get that mounted and we're going to probably be splitting, splitting some wood here very shortly okay